I got 90 points in speaking and listening in PT and an overall score of 85. Now I will do a read aloud test myself and show you how easily you can score marks in this section. Let's see what we got. Content 90 out of 90, pronunciation 88 out of 90. You will have 10 minutes to finish this task, but with my technique, it won't even take you 5 minutes. All you have to do is copy and paste. If you want to achieve band 9 in IELTS or 90 points in PTE, watch this video till the end. Now you can ask, why would you listen to me? Because I got 90 points in speaking and listening in PTE and an overall score of 85. I can't believe this is my picture. And if I can do it, you guys can as well. All you need to do is learn 7 simple strategies. Just keep watching because I will give a demo exam in front of you and show you the points I get. Tip number one is to download the APUNI app. In this app, you will get to practice all sort of questions which comes in the PTE exam, starting from listening, speaking, writing, and reading. You can also practice the mock exam in this app, which is exactly the same structure as the real PTE. Tip number two is for speaking. For speaking, the two most important things are being fluent and having a good pronunciation. In the speaking section, we have read aloud, repeat sentence, describe image, read a lecture, and answer short question. Read aloud is the most important part of speaking because it contains 33% of the total marks. And this, I think, is the easiest way to get marks for speaking. You will be given a paragraph and all you have to do is just read. And another important thing, it contains 27% of your marks for the reading section as well. Now I will do a read aloud test myself and show you how easily you can score marks in this section. Your tutor helps you make the most of your time at university by giving you guidance and support along the way. All new students are allocated a personal tutor who will encourage you to get the most out of your course, direct you to other sources of support and help you achieve your goals. It's time to check our points. I'm pretty confident of getting 80 plus for this section. Let's see what we got. Content 90 out of 90, pronunciation 88 out of 90, fluency 89 out of 90, overall it's 88 out of 90. See? It's not rocket science, it's very simple. Don't tell anyone, the secret is speak as fast as possible and as clearly as possible. Simple. Now I will show you the simple technique to get 80 plus points for describing image section. This is also very important because it contains 22% marks for your speaking section. As you can see, you will be given a graph or a chart and you will have 40 seconds to speak about it. For this section, the most important thing is just being fluent. Doesn't matter your grammar, whatever you're speaking, doesn't matter. Trust me, all you have to be is fluent. A simple trick here is to use the same introduction every time so that you don't have to think and you don't waste time thinking. I can give you an introduction. It's simple. You can start by saying, here is a picture in front of me. I have 40 seconds to talk about this picture. This is a beautiful picture. After giving this introduction, all you have to do is read out all the keywords you can from the graph, like as many as you can. Remember, in PTE, the artificial intelligence gives you marks. So in this section, he just checks whether you are fluent or not and whether you are using all the keywords from the graph. That's all. You don't believe me? I will give another exam right now and show you how to get 80 plus points. Here is a picture in front of me. I have 40 seconds to talk about this picture. This is a beautiful picture. In this picture, we can see on the right side the countries, which is Dubai, France, India. Also from this picture, we can see Oman, Pakistan, and Saudi Arabia. There's two colors in this picture, which is blue and orange. On the left side, we can see the sales value, which is $500,000, 1 million, 1.5 million. Also from this picture, we can see $2 million, $2.5 million, $3 million, $3.5 million, and $4 million. We can see on the right side, there are different countries and the different numbers. One of the element is maximum and the other element is minimum. Overall, this picture is very informative and helpful. Thank you. Oh my god, that was tough. It's time to check our score. Fingers crossed, but I'm pretty sure I will get at least 80 plus points for this section. Come on, why is it taking so much time? I'm getting nervous now. Look at that. 81 out of 90. How good is that? Woo! Yes, maybe in this section I didn't score 90 out of 90, but overall from read aloud, I will get something close to 90. See how simple it was to get 80 plus for this section as well? All you have to do is use my introduction and then use some keywords from the graph. And finally, you can use the same ending I used. Now my third strategy is all about writing. In this section, you will have to write an essay which accounts for 15 to 20% marks for the whole writing section. But don't worry, you know that I've got your back. 
I already made a format for you. All you have to do is memorize the format and use it in your exam. Here is my format. You can exactly use the same format. You can see there are one, two, three, and four paragraphs. You can use the exact same thing, but all you need to do is change the brackets. For example, in the bracket, you can see some keywords about the topic which means you have to use some keywords related to your topic. Here also, majority of the things are provided. All you need to do is, for example, here, just use an example. It doesn't need to be true or doesn't need to be a fact. Just use something. Also in the topic, you just use your topic name. If you're getting confused, don't worry. I will give a writing test right now to show you how to do it. You can see my topic is about success and I have used the headline and then used the same exact line has become an integral part of the rising debate. As you can see after the line I have used has become an integral part of the rising debate. And for example, when I use the example here after the Western Sydney University, I've done the same thing here as well. If you see here after Western Sydney University, I just used an example in short, all you need to do is copy paste the same format and use the words related to your essay. That's all. It's time to check our marks. I'm pretty sure I will get a good percentage of marks here. Let's see. Click to score. Fingers crossed. Let's see. Content. Three out of three. Two out of two. Ah, grammar. I had grammatical errors. But overall, see, 14.4 out of 15 which means over 80 percent something like 88 or 89 out of 90. the couple of mistakes i made was here where i used the which wasn't necessary and then most of the times it should be most of the time and the other things are all perfect if you still don't believe me go to the app try using my format and check the result yourself but don't blame me if you make grammatical errors or typing errors. Also, it's extremely important for you to write between 200 to 300 words. Otherwise, you will get penalized. Now, strategy number four is on how to summarize written text. This accounts for 5 to 10 percent of the writing section. And trust me when I say this, it's the easiest part. All you have to do is copy and paste. I know you want to see a practical example of this one as well. Here, Let's go. We have a passage with three or four paragraphs. All we need to do is summarize the passage using just one sentence. You will have 10 minutes to finish this task, but with my technique, it won't even take you five minutes. The first step is to copy one of the line. You just copy it and then you paste it here. And then you just use and and then take another line from any paragraph. Maybe I will take this line copy and then paste it here make sure you use the word and perfect one thing you also have to make sure is there shouldn't be a capital here after and because this is not a new line and make sure you don't use too much cap in between before submitting just double check the line you used whether there is any mistakes or typing error or whether there is any other full stop if there is any, any other full stop here, you might be penalized heavily. Now let's submit and check our score. I'm pretty sure I will get full marks for it. It's super easy. Just use the formula. Come on. Let's see. Oh my God. Seven out of seven. See how easy it is. So all you have to do is copy two sentences from the passage and use and in between. That's all. Also, make sure to change the capital. There shouldn't be any capital in between. Also, in the exam, you might not have the option of copy and paste. So you have to literally take the sentence and type it. Make sure you don't make any typing errors. Also, please make sure your words are between 5 to 75 words. Otherwise, you will get penalized as well. If you still don't believe me, you can try using my strategies using the 8Uni app and figure it out yourself. The only disadvantage of the app is you will just get one mock test and you will have only five options of rechecking your score. If you want to get the unlimited scoring option, you have to buy the $22 package. Tip number five is for summarizing spoken text, which is in the listening section. You will have 10 minutes to finish this section, but with my strategy, it's very easy to finish it within five minutes. The total markings for this section is 10 to 15% of the listening section but the formula is super easy. 
For this, you will hear a short lecture and then you have to summarize the whole lecture within 50 to 70 words. The word count is very important. Make sure you write between 50 to 70. The first step is when the lecture is carried out, you only have to write down all the words you can from the lecture. As many as you can, just note it down. And I know you want to see a real example here as well. So let's go. Human activities such as burning fossil fuels are warming Earth's climate. The climate crisis has widespread ramifications. Ecologists are worried that many species will become extinct because they might not be able to adapt to a climate the results remind us how complicated an animal's environmental requirements are. So we tried writing as many words as we could and now we just have to summarize it. You can always start the summary by saying the given lecture was in various categories. Then you will say firstly we can hear some of the major points connected with and then you will start using all these words as many as you want. Let's use some of the words, human, then fossil. So from my note, I tried using as many words as possible here. And then I finished my words using an and here. Make sure you use and and then use a full stop. After that, finish the line saying overall, the lecture was very significant and informative. You can finish it the same way. Also, as I can see, here's a spelling mistake. Make sure you don't make any spelling mistake. Ecosystem. System. Let's double check if there's any other mistakes. Uh, uh, with human, uh, extinct, poles, climate change. I don't think there's any other mistake, so it's ready. Let's submit. Also, one more thing before submitting, you should make sure your words are between 50 to 75. This is very important. Sorry, 50 to 70, as you can see. It's super important. Otherwise, you will get penalized. And sometimes, if you think you don't have enough words here, you can add another line in between saying, secondly, we can hear some of the major points connected with in the middle here, and then add some of the few words again so that if you're short of words, only then. But otherwise, it's not required. Now, let's submit and let's see our score. I think you guys know that I will get full marks for this as well, hopefully. Fingers crossed. 10 out of 10. See how easy it is. I made your life so easy. All you need to do is use my first line and last line. And in the middle, you just use all the words you get from the lecture. Thank me later. Tip number six is to give as many mock tests as you can because giving a mock test gives you a whole idea of the exam. It's simple. The more you practice, the better you will get. Again, for the mock test, you might need to buy the full package of the AP Uni, which is $22. And my seventh and the final tip is to always double check what you're writing. Sometimes you might have typing error or sometimes you might have silly grammatical errors, which can be easily avoided. During my exam, after writing, when I double checked, I got more than 10 typing errors, which was very critical. Maybe I wouldn't even score 75 if I didn't double check them. So these are my seven strategies to help you get best score for the PTE. And lastly, one pro tip is don't be nervous. Try to be as calm as possible because it really helps you. Getting 90 in PTE is hard, but not impossible. And if you are someone who is giving PTE exam for the visa or PR purpose, you can get 20 points from PTE if you can make sure that you get 80 points in each of the individual bands. So hope my strategies helped you to achieve 90 in PT or help you getting your dream points. If you found this video helpful, please smash that like button and also let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And subscribe to this channel for more informative videos. See you until next time.